Hello everybody, welcome back to more of Life is Strange. In the last episode, we we went, we, we, we was exploring a barn, we opened up a big, a big door, and then we found out that Rachel I is I will get revenge for Kate dead. and Rachel, if it's the last thing I do. So Rachel is dead, but um, we still don't know about Kate. I hope she's not dead. But yeah, um, so yeah, and, and we made it into this Vortex Club party, and we're, and we're in this VIP lounge, aka the bathroom, with just a bunch of graffiti. Who is he? Oh, it's Justin. I just... Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wow. You wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. I would've so just been binge watching TV shows on a Thursday night. So yes, night. this party sucks. That's my Thursday night. I mean, he's not wrong. This party, dude, is kinda suckish. <laughs> Rachel Amber won't be coming either. Damn, I was thinking about Rachel and Chloe tonight. If they showed up together right now, shit would end. Rachel could always shut Victoria down. Good for Rachel. I wish I could have seen that. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time yeah, to get my home. board and grind. Yeah, you need to go home. You can't because you're- The tide is turning. What does that say? Exit the Vortex Club. Wait, what's this say? Dana needs a baby daddy. Kill the resorts. Chloe must be around. Oh, Hello? kill the press Can you gun. please hurl and flush already? Yes! You've been vomiting for like an hour! Bruh. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. Good night, sweet Don't prince. Coming in, sister! Oh, gross. How did this even get here? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Can we even do anything in here? Like, what is the point? Do we have to find like some sort of clue or something? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Ugh, gross. How did this even get here? I think we're done in here. Pretty sure we're done in here. I'm pretty sure we have to go somewhere else. Because there's nothing really to do in here. Just look at a few things, like see? And the VIP section is in the boys' bathroom. Do we have a girl version? Can we go in there? No? Okay, let's get out of here. There's nothing else to really do in here. Or 
is there. I just gotta look for clues. Look for clues, 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 clues. Where is Chloe anyway? Principal Wells should have canceled this party. But he was paid off. Man, this party is so freaking. Like, <laughs> this party. Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. Not the only one. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. But now I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? Why? You're the one going out with him. Brooke, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Double moon. Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Imagine if 2013 was the end of the world. Thank you so much for coming by, Max. You lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see your smile again. You mean so much to me and so many others. Have to go, but I wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet, he bought by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will. Call me as soon as you can. All right. Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. You want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. So 
so Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? She better be careful so he doesn't pull any revenge on or something. Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on the lake. You guessed worse than my dad. Yes. I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. Bust the move. Wow. Wow, he is terrible. I'm glad Dana ended up with Trevor. Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. The Vortex Club is also enabling. I know. Juliet wrote a story describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. <laughs> the boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? But we'll see. Victoria, your picture so has to win. Yeah, that would be wicked. Uh, did you hear something? I'm trying not to. Oh, I get it. Huh. Real fucking nice. So, I'll be right back, guys. Huh. When you finish recording or whatever, you finish it. Hey. Oh, well, turns out I accidentally took a screenshot and not paused the recording. Well, at least you didn't say much. Club members only. Sorry, I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. You still pissed about me taking your picture? Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cares she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect! Okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. Oh, I would say you suck, but to be honest, you do got talent. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. I mean, you don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way. And he's famous. Yeah, Mr. Jefferson probably won't be choosing my photo. I'm not as talented as I thought. Yes, you are. But we shouldn't have to choose between talent and kindness. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who 
says we have to be enemies. Whoever makes that decision, that would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. No, she don't believe me, so don't even try to warn her. Come on. It was good talking to you, Victoria, as usual. Edict, Max. You're just jealous of me because I actually do the things you can't. I put my photographs out there while you hide behind your lame retro selfie. At least tell me where Nathan is. Uh, why do you want to know? Principal Wells wanted to see us, honey. It's no big deal. Then why ask me? I haven't even seen him tonight. Adios. Au revoir. Okay, there is she, I have warned Victoria about Nathan. She might be evil, but there you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. I didn't know you were pals with him. Oh. That's not what I meant to do. Oh wait, I need to check something real quick. Cause... Okay, 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 good, good, good. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio. But I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. I, I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Thank you so much, Mr. Jefferson. It was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Newton's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Okay, wow. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. Oh, 
Oh god, one of the moons is twitching. What is going on here? Okay, it's one moon again. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. You have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Max, please hurry. Oh God, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Oh, no. killed Chloe. That piece of crap freaking killed my friend. Oh god, who oh. That probably wasn't Nathan, but Mr. Jefferson? What's going on here? That is the end of episode four. Okay guys, so looks like we're done with Life is Strange right now. We finished episode 4, yay! So until then, I'll see you guys soon with more of Life is Strange. And I'm going to start episode 5, which is the final episode of the game. Yeah, I'm excited. Bye guys!